Prime Minister calls on World Bank to work with Bangladesh in the spirit of mutual trust, signs agreement for five development projects. Price of 12 kg LPG cylinder increases by Taka 57 to 1,235 will be effective from today, says BERC. And the South City Corporation determines a specific action plan to deal with disaster. 42 buildings are at risk, says Mayor Tapush. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my TV news. I'm Fozia Roshun with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina urged the World Bank to work together to build a bright future with a mindset of mutual trust. She made this call at a function at the United Nations headquarters on Monday to celebrate 50 years of Bangladesh World Bank partnership. Earlier, Bangladesh signed an agreement with the World Bank to take loan assistance of $2.25 billion for the implementation of five projects. The agreement was signed between Bangladesh and the global leader later at the WOB headquarters here on Monday local time. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and World Bank President David Malpas witnessed the exchange of the agreement. The five projects are Resilient Infrastructure Building Project, Bangladesh Environment Mental sustainability and transformation, accelerating transport and trade connectivity in Eastern South Asia, Bangladesh Phase 1. First, Bangladesh Green and Climate Resilient Development and Sustainable Metro Prices and Resilient Transformation. At the consumer level, the price of a 5 kg cylinder of a liquefied petroleum gas has been increased by Taka 57 to 1,235. Earlier, its price was 1,178 Taka. Bangladesh Energy Regulatory Commission, BERC, has announced this and the new price will also be effective from today. According to the announcement, the retail point price of a private LPG has been fixed at 102 Taka 91 Poisha package including tax and the consumer label. Besides, the price of a private LPG supplied in liquid state and related system has been fixed at 99 Taka 68 Poisha package including Masak at the consumer level. Earlier in April, BERC had reduced the price of 12 kg LPG cylinder from Taka 1400 to Taka 1178 at the consumer label. Withdrawal of funding from Padma Breeze was a mistake and the World Bank invited the Prime Minister after realizing that, says Information Minister Hassan Mahmoud. He told the reporters at the Secretariat today that if the national elections are held in January and December, the election schedule should be announced within October. However, the Election Commission will decide on this matter. <laughs> Two to three political parties are trying hard to destroy Bangladesh, says the law minister Anisul Haq. Keeping aware of those conspiracies, the minister said their conspiracy will be restarted by the people of Bangladesh. He said this in the election campaign road meeting in the field of Sholonikhar Primary School in the morning today. A family is lying about Khaled Azia's health and hospitalization. Alleges BNP Secretary General Mr. Farkul Islam Alamgir is said that the government is behaving inhumanly by depriving her of the opportunity of a good treatment. He said this at a press conference at the party chairperson's political office in Gulshan at noon. <laughs> DMP Commissioner Kondokar Gulam Farooq has instructed everyone to be cautious so that the repatriation of the police force is tarnished. He also said wearing the uniform should not be done in such a way that the order of the force is lost. The DMP Commissioner said this at the awarding ceremony to 30 policemen at Rajarbag in recognition of a good and humanitarian work in the new supermarket fire in the capital.
The South City Corporation has a determined a specific action plan to deal with the disaster for the safety of the city dwellers. In the third meeting of the Disaster Management Committee in the morning, a decision was taken on how to prepare for the disaster. After the meeting, Dhaka South Mayor Sheikh Fazle Nurtapush told reporters that 42 buildings in Dhaka South are dangerous. 197 buildings are less dangerous and Raju Kaza suggested renovation. He also said that all supervision of will be done from the central control room. Guidelines will be prepared according to international standards. Court has given death sentence to five people in Kumila College teacher murder case. Judge Jahangir Hussain of the additional district and the sessions court five gave the verdict today. At the time, each accused was fined 10,000 attacker. Two accused were present in the court when the verdict was announced. Three are absconding. The assistant public prosecutor of the court said that the Shujan, a teacher of Barapur Model School and College of Shadur Puzila, was hacked to death on October 8, 2010 in a a dispute over property. In this incident, the victim's father failed a murder case as a plaintiff of October 9. After taking the testimony of 15 witnesses, the court gave this verdict today. Viewers, now international news. Scores of the police were injured in clashes with protesters in France on May Day on Monday against the pension reform bill. Apart from this, a massive violence also occurred during the protests. At least 108 police officers were injured in the clashes, says Interior Minister Gernot Germain. He also said that 221 people were arrested during the violence. Millions of people across France took part in May Day protests against President Emmanuel Macron's recent pensions form. While most of the protesters were peaceful, extremist groups through petrol bombs and fire at police. In response, the police responded with tear gas and water cannons. Verse about to the end of the headlines once again. Prime Minister calls on World Bank to work with Bangladesh in the spirit of mutual trust, signs agreement for five development projects. Price of 12 kg LPG cylinder increases by Taka 57 2235 will be effective from today, says BERC. South City Corporation determines a specific action plan to deal with disaster. 42 buildings at risk, says Mayor Tapos. Scores of police injured in clashes with protesters in France on May Day against a pension bill reform. And the Tigers reach Champs Ford of England to play the series against Ireland, first ODI on May 9th. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with My TV News Online, visit YouTube Flash My TV BD News. And to watch all our programs, visit YouTube Flash My TV Bangla, Facebook Slash My TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 pm. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.